Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia. I'm the industry expert from Alibaba.com. Today I'm going to invite Karen next to me to introduce us her company and give us a factory tour of solar panel. Hey Karen. Hi Cynthia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to DH Solar. Thank you. And we are a professional solar panel manufacturer since mm -hmm. 2009 and we have one gigawatt production capacity. Yeah. Mm, our factory has uh, around uh, 350 employees mm -hmm. and we have our own, in, own ID department yeah. with around 10% of them are from ID department. Got it. So with uh, the strong R&D capability, do you have some certifications? Yes, for international certifications, we can meet all the standards like CE, TUV, ISO, Got and it. also some special country require their local standard. Yeah. Like for Brazil market, they need Inmetro. Yeah. And for Mexico market, they need FIDE. Got it. Yeah. So to meet their local standards when you connect the solar system to the yeah. power grid. Got it. So some regular certification yes. worldwide and some special certification yes. for certain of countries. Um, so all this area is your factory? And this one is. Oh, that building. Yeah. So what, what's the size of the plant? And this one is around 12,000 square meters. Got it. And this is a second factory and we have another one is under production and it's around the, also 12,000. Got and it. We have new one also. Okay. So total is around 58,000 square meters for Got three it. factories. Three plants. Yes. Got it. Uh, how about your total revenue uh, last year? In 2019, it's around 100 million US dollar. 100 million US dollar. Yeah. It's not not small. <laughs> yes. Got it. So, how much from them is from international business? Mm, for our overseas mm, projects, it's around uh, 60 percent. 60 percent. So it's around 60 million US dollars. Yes, exactly. Got it. And the rest of them are for our China domestic projects. Got it. I'm also curious about how much of them is from uh, interna uh, Alibaba.com, I mean, among the international mm. business. Actually, we joined Alibaba since um, two or three years ago. Yeah. And total revenue last year is around 20% from our overseas project. Got it, 20% among the 60% international yes. business, so right. it's around 12 million US dollars. Uh, yeah, 12 million. Got it. Wow, so um, still a big yes. portion in yes. your overall. This is our yeah. manufacturing center. Got it, cool. Um, okay. Well, firstly, I would like to share with you our product, mm -hmm. uh, solar panel. Yeah. We are producing here in this factory. Yeah. Mm, we have two different types. This one is mono yeah. and poly. poly. Mono okay. looks like black. Yeah. And this one is a little bit like uh, blue. more blue. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And mono is mm, higher power. Yeah. Like that one. The, those two has same size. Yeah. This the the name is half cell. Half cell. H C means half cell. Yeah. And M means mono. 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 Okay. And seventy eight solar cells. We so call it four cell. So this one is one piece. We have 78 pieces per panel. Yes. Got it. And now the technology improved. We are using half cell mm -hmm. with larger size to yeah. receive more power. So compared with the traditional panels, Got traditional it. panels are full cell. Got yeah. it. So half cell has more higher efficiency. Yes. Got it. And mono has a higher power. Now we can do max is 450 watts. Got it. Okay, the next one is poly module. Poly, the same regulation is half cell poly, yeah. 78 cells. Yeah. And we also have 60 cells and 72 cells. Mm -hmm. Smaller size also. Smaller size, yes. yeah. And How about a, what does a 9 mean? 9 means the 9 bus bar. 9 bus bar, yes. okay. So and like the one, traditional two, technology three, is five, six, 2 seven. bus bar, 4 yeah. bus bar, yes. So yes, it's 9 bus bar. Got it. Got it. And poly is more popular for the, the area where there has many sunshine, like oh, Africa. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like Africa, like Middle East and Southeast Asia. Yes. And that one is for a uh, colder area. Yes. Right. Uh, actually, for people from Europe, like more monotype. Got it. Because they have many cloudy days and sunshine hour maybe only three hours a day or four hours a day. Got it. So during the week sunshine, 
mono can generate more power. Got it. So the price is a little bit, a little bit higher. That makes yes. sense. <laughs> yes. So poly is, has lower system cost. Got it. Sure. And we also provide our customers complete set solar system. Oh, okay. Because only solar panel, they are generating DC power. Yes. And our house appliance is AC power. Yeah, it sure. cannot be used for appliance directly. So Got we it. need inverters, cables. So you need a Let me show you in details. Yeah. We have Got three it. different types. Yeah. First one is on grid. Yeah. There is only solar panel and inverter, as yeah. we can see. And there are also cable connector accessories. Mm -hmm. And this this solar panel they generate power for your house appliance like air conditioner, mm -hmm. refrigerator, yeah. and electric car to charge this kind of house appliance. Yeah. And also if you have extra power you can sell to the grid. Yeah, so I see there are two ways. You can absorb the electricity and you can also release the electricity to the grid, right? Yes, got it. So you can make profit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> commercial usage. Yeah, this one is the simplest. Also, the price is most cost effective. Got it. And this is off grid. Off grid means a standalone system mm. without influence by the city grid. Got it. And the solar panel and then controller, battery, inverter. Controller is just like a charger for battery. Yeah. yeah. And inverter is to transfer DC to AC. Got it. So this one compared with the on grid one, uh, it has a battery. So it cannot only absorb the energy, but also store the energy um, into the battery. Yes. Yeah, but this one compared with the first one, it cannot allow you to sell the electricity to the grid. Yes, you are professional. Thank you. <laughs> you. When the solar power is not enough for your house use, yeah. you can get power from the electric grid. Got it. And if the power is more than enough, it will be used for your house appliance to charge the batteries. Yeah, got it. The next one is hybrid. Hybrid. It's the combination of on-grid and hybrid. Got because it. It, it has three functions. Uh -huh. The first is used for your house appliance. Yeah. And the second, you can store power in the battery. Yeah. And next, if you still have extra power, uh -huh. so you can sell to the grid. Yeah, it's also two ways from the IRO. Yeah, same as on grid. Got but it. Like, it has battery. Yeah. So you can for your you can store the power for night use, for cloudy days use. Got it. So this one should be the most advantage version compared yes. with uh, among the three. Yes. Got it. So the hybrid is most advanced technology with more functions compared with the other two. Got it. Makes sense. And also we are recently developed a new design. Off-grid system, we provide complete same system, even yeah. a small battery cable. Yeah. A uh, screw, a little, a small screw. We can yeah. pr we provide a complete set to our customers. Mm -hmm. So when our customer received this system, yeah, they can they can get them installed and used for their house appliance directly, Got without it. Bu buying any extra material. Got it. Yeah. Got so it's it. very convenient. Yeah. And also solution. Yes. And also the energy storage capacity is very large, mm -hmm. which can meet your house appliance. For 24 hours. 24 hours. For example, yeah. you buy a three kilowatt system. Yeah. The battery capacity is 12 kilowatt hour. Yeah. It uh, normally is enough for general houses with for, for three to five women. people. Yes. Got it. Got it. Since you said the customers can enjoy the long warranty for your yes. products, so how long does your warranty you can promise the customer? Mm, actually, we give warranty by items. Like for solar panel, yeah. we give 12, 25 years. Yeah. And for battery, it's three years. Got and it. Inverter, three years. Got and it. And the cable, the mounting structure is 10 years. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So I think 25 years should be fair enough for a, pa a solar panel for yes. any kind of usage, personal usage, yes, government correct. usage, or commercial usage. Yes. Also, uh, you buy a system. For example, you you have a cost fifty thousand. Yeah. But within five years, you can get the cost to return. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. rest of twenty years, yeah, you can make you can, money. You can earn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So ROI is pretty low. Yes, Got it's it. very um, cost-effective investment. Got it. Next, um, I would like to show you our project case. 
our solar system not only used in China domestic market, mm -hmm. also for more than 100 countries. Okay, 100 countries are your customers. Yes, yes it's wow. almost everywhere in the world. Almost an international company. <laughs> yes. And the first one is 10.8 megawatts. Mm -hmm. The savage treatment plant. Got it's it. Actually, it's like a government, a government project. Got it. So, uh, did you directly co-work with the government, or you uh, have a certain agent to serve the government, and you um, work with the agent? Uh, we have uh, this one is uh, we got information from government yep. that recently they got a project need to be done by the solar manufacturers. Yeah. So we submit our documents and provide most competitive price. Got so we, we can win the order. Right. You got the project finally. Yes. <laughs> it's a big project. Yes. Based on the volume. Yes. It's yeah. standard. It can save, save, save the standard coal, coal and yeah. also brand. Environmental, environmental friendly. Yes. The next one is one of our biggest project, 50 megawatt, and it's called Fissionary and Solar Hybrid Large Power Plant. Yeah. In, it's very near to our city, so if any of our customer want to visit us, and we can show them our real project case. Real project. Okay. Yes. Why this called Fissionary? Uh, it's called fissionary and solar hybrid because yeah. they, it's not only for solar yeah. and also there are river under the solar panels. You so mean we can this river? Yes. Wow. We can raise the fishes there. Okay, okay. So we can not only make profit <laughs> okay. of selling solar power, also we can get fishes. Got it, got it. <laughs> it's not relevant to solar panel, but it just uh, um, you can make use of the plant. Yes. Got so we can it. make full use of the space. Got because it. the land cost is also higher. Right? Yeah, yeah, and increasingly actually. Yes. The next one is 18 megawatt commercial industrial rooftop project. Mm -hmm. It's for car manufacture. Maybe you have heard GAC. Yeah, yeah. Jack. It's a yeah. famous uh, local brand. Yes. Yeah. They have many electric cars recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the project installed on their rooftop, yeah. so it won't take any space. No need land cost. Got it. So the power can be used for their factory machinery mm -hmm. and also the appliance like air conditioner because the commercial electricity is very expensive. Got it. So I think for the um, brand company like the car manufacturer uh, factories um, because they use a lot of energy uh, yes. and the utility cost is pretty high yes. so when they use the solar panel instead of buying the electricity from the grid they can actually save a lot of cost. Yes. Yeah. They can save a lot. Also, they, if they if the power is more more than enough for their factory use, they can sell the extra power oh, to the grid. Oh, they can also sell. Right, yes. right, yeah. And next, I'm gonna show you our overseas projects. Like the first one is 2.5 megawatt in Japan. Yeah. This project was done in 2016. Yeah. So four years ago. Okay. And our customers' feedback about this system is very good. They told us the power generation is higher than other local Oh, suppliers. so higher efficiency. Yes. Got and it. Because it's tracking system, you are running with the sun running, sun oh, moving. Oh, I see, I see. And this one you can see is a government building in Kuwait, in mm -hmm. Middle East. Yeah. This is one megawatt on their rooftop buildings. So this area actually has a strong sunshine, right? Yes. Yeah. So when they buy the solar panels, they usually buy the 400 watts or 450 watts. 400. 400. Watts, because okay. it's poly. Got it. Poly. I see. Yeah. Um, so I see. I see you are uh, like you have a lot of projects worldwide, uh, and you you supply solar panel to countries uh, in Asia, in Australia, uh, and Europe. And also in yeah in yeah. Southeast Asia, um, so for all this project, um, did you directly co-work with the project owner or the government, or you have some distributors to help you serve the customers? Actually, it depends because uh, we are in China. Yeah, we are a little bit difficult to get information about local projects. Yeah, so we are. You're getting those information through our distributors, yeah. or some local installation company will contact us yeah. to get an inquiry. Yeah. So we will provide competitive price to them, and yeah. also give price uh, quality warranty. 
guard it, so they will be able to win the order for both of us to get yeah. win to win business. Yeah, yeah, sure. So in which countries do you have your own distributors? Uh, till now we have in uh, Mexico, in Mexico, Brazil, Brazil. Yes, and also in Ukraine. In Ukraine. And last year we developed a distributor in Poland. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So uh, Mexico, Brazil, and Ukraine are your major yes. uh, marketing. Market, yes. Yeah. And the, uh, another Poland is a new marketing for you. Yes. Okay. Sure. Because the, their government give policy, if you invest, invest for example, fifty thousand U.S. dollar, yeah, maybe their government will give you twenty thousand. Oh, I see, I see. So people like to install. Yeah, yeah, it's got government benefits. <laughs> yes, got it. Um, next project is our two megawatts in Ukraine, mm -hmm. one of our main market. Yeah, and our, we have many distributors in local. Mm. The next one is 1.2 megawatts in Iran. Iran. And two guys wearing blue clothes are our yeah. colleagues. Your engineers? Yes, our engineer. Okay. So they, they visited this project. Great. Seems like and it's our, a big project. That's why you need to. Our customer is yeah. very happy about yeah. their yeah. coming. Yeah. And this is a villa project for uh, individual houses. Individual usage. Yes. yes. And it's around the 10 kilowatt per system. Mm -hmm. So the power is enough for their daily use. Got it. Okay. Good to know all and the overseas projects and yes. also domestic projects. Yes, not mm -hmm. only those kind of commercial projects. We also do the residential design. Yeah. Like those uh, around the 10 kilowatts, 5 kilowatts. Like this one is yeah. for Australia client. It's mm -hmm. 10 kilowatts with yeah. battery backup. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. the battery system is mo is very popular in Australia. Yeah. And this one is in Germany with hybrid. Oh. Which is the most advanced technology yeah. because yeah. they focus They want on to sell the electricity. <laughs> yes. Got it. And this one is residential project in Brazil. Mm. Because we have many distributors there. Okay. So they will sell to end users. Got it. Personal users. Got it. Okay. So this is just part of our project case. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know more, I can share with you later. Sure. These are typical ones. <laughs> yes. Okay. So do you have any more questions about our main products? Yeah, I think, shall we go to the production line to know more details of your process? Your yes, quality, production control? line is just next to us. Okay, sure. So we can wear the hats and okay. we can wear the protective hat. Sure. So now, please give me the chance to introduce our production sure. line. Sure. Intelligent production line. Oh, right. Intelligent production line. Yes. And also here is our meeting room. Okay. So customer visiting us, they can sit in here okay. to negotiate the details of the order. And, and the price. <laughs> yes. Mostly important point. <laughs> and this is office. Okay. So here we are. And now let me give a quick view of our production line. Uh -huh. We are using 7S Intelligent Management. Yeah. Maybe you have heard about this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 7S is the most advantageous ma uh, management method in the manufacturing management. Yeah. And yeah. in 28 seconds, we can produce a solar panel. Wow. It's pretty it's quick. Three assembly steps. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. And in nine hours, we can send the solar panel from our factory to the seaport. Oh, so this one should be your whole manufacturing time. Uh, it's from our factory to the seaport. To so, the seaport. Yes. Okay. So within one day, we can send to the seaport. Wow. Including so the, like, the local transportation yes. time. Like wow. Shanghai, Ningbo. Oh. And this is our annually production capacity of this factory. Okay. It's 420 megawatts. Okay. Got it. 
um, our production process is total 22 steps. 22. Okay. Those are assembly process. Assembly. Yeah, I think, Karen, uh, since there are a lot of process, maybe we can just walk through the critical stations, uh, the critical assembly stations, testing stations, yes. and inspection stations. We have total five, five. Five stations. Okay. In our industry, the most important test is, is calling EL test. EL test. And we have total two EL testing. The first EL. Yeah. And the second EL. Second EL. Okay. And then we have two steps of visual inspection to Got see it. if there is any appearance problem or, or missing part of solar cell, press to, to find by the eyes. Got it. And next is our RD test yeah. to test the solar panel's power. Yeah. So if we want to, if we tell you the solar panel is 400, how yeah. do we know it? So yeah. we need to pass to verify if the voltage is yeah. correct or not. You will find the voltage, the current, the temperature test, all the information related to the solar panel. Got it. Okay. So we can also provide the test report to our customers. Got it. Got it. Okay. So where we shall start? So next uh, is our the first step is laser cells cutting and and the solar cell is made of four cells. Okay. So we need to them cutting by the laser. Got it. Uh, it's a full automation. Yes. yes. Almost a full automation line, right? Uh, we can say fully automated. Fully automated. Yeah. Like this. This is the leather cutting machine. Leather cutting is the first station. Yes. Got it. So we receive the solar panel in full cell. We need to get the sun cut cell. Got it. Do you know the usage for this machine? Uh, for one machine, it's around the 360,000. 360,000. Up down. Got it. Got it. And next machine is welding. Because the solar cell is individual cell. How yeah. we can make a solar panel? We yeah. need to connect all the cells in one unit. Well, welding is to, simply is to uh, weld the copper wire into the panel sauna. Right. So the welding is to weld the copper wire uh, on the on the yes, on the, the board actually. Pin the copper, the, the connection oh, trouble. Pin, pin the copper. copper. Got it. We can we can check it at that side because it's not allowed to enter this side. Yes. Yeah. And they are using the chain the cooper to make solar cells in one wall. Yeah, I see. Because I think the first station and the welding station, the machine moves very fast. Um, so, so this machine is around uh, 360,000 uh, uh, UPH, right? 3.6,000 okay. UPH solar cells per okay. hour. Got it. Because we have total five machines, five machines. So it's around the eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Yeah, okay. eighteen thousand solar cells. Eighteen thousand. So solar if we cells. produce one hundred and twenty solar cell panels, yeah, we can get one hundred and twenty pieces, or yeah. one hundred to one hundred fifty pieces. It has a range, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty. So thirty. Because we have bigger size, also yeah. Got it. So you teach it's like a thirty-six hundred per hour per machine. Yeah. Um, and if one a solar panel needs uh, like twelve hundred, uh, sorry, one twenty. Yes. And you can make a thirty panels per machine. And you have five machines, so you can make one fifty panels. Yes. Um, yes. Per hour for yes. probably five machines. Got it. And it's a uh, capacity. And this step is automatic type setting because we are we are connected solar cells in one row. Yes. And then we need to put it on the glass with EVA stack. Okay. Because the okay. solar cell and the glass cannot like 
together. We, we, we need, need a GBA. We need a GBA to set them together. Yes. Got it. Because the EBA will be melted after the after the oven. temperature Got it. Got it. As you can see, the production line are all running automatically. Yeah. Yeah. As last step, only put the solar cells on the EVA. Yeah. We haven't been connected in one road yet. Yeah. yeah. So we need to connect them. Can I, can I touch this? Just yes. to show the customers how many layers so far. So the first. The first one is the tempered glass. Glass. 3.2 millimeters. Okay. And this is the EVA. EVA yes. And this is the solar, solar cell. Okay. With the King Cooper. Yes. Got it. This machine is interconnected the bar welding mm -hmm. to get them with a positive and negative output. Got it. So with the solar cell already stacked, we need another EVA that is blue. Yeah, I think after this station, the solar cells, they've been connected together. Yes. Uh, so two rows, uh, they've been welded yes. as one two unit. Two lines in one row. Got it. Got it. So now with the solar cells connected, we will put another EVA. Got it. It's also on the metric machine mm -hmm. to cut the EVA and put on the solar cells. Got it. Take this step. So we can wait for the next solar panel. And the incoming material is a road EVA and you need to cut the EVA into the, into the uh, right, correct side here, right? Yes, got it. got it. It's ready to cut. Yeah, it's cutting. Got it. The next machine is similar. It's automatically put setting the back sheet. Got it. It's really like a bigger die car machine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just the biggest die car machine. Let's wait for the second panel. show you our most important task, the first the EL. Oh, EL inspection. Yes. Got it. The EL is just like a smart camera. Mm. It can detect all the problems of solar cells on the screen. I see. From the screen, you can see the solar cells condition very clearly, right? Yeah. So this one should be the original picture, and this one is kind of like the X-ray yes. version of the solar panel. Yes, you are right. Got it. And there are several number of each solar solar panels there. So if customer want this EL test report, we can provide to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will 
find if there is any cracks or missing parts from the solar cells. Yeah. Or if there is hair inside, yeah. we can find it easily from the screen. Got it. And Got once it. there is any problem infected, and we will write it down, like A12, A16. Yeah. It's easy to write down, and next step, the other employees will know it and can so replace. Write down on the, uh, yes. on the sticker yes. and then remark on the on the like the the correct presentation. Yes, use this use uh, this paper to write it down. Got it. But but I think step. this should be the okay, right? Okay, yeah, okay it's part. A, it's normal. No more. Because okay. the solar cells color is not that exactly the same. Got it. Got it. Okay. So when you find some defects, uh, uh, do you have a rework line or you put an offline yes. station? We uh, have a rework to line replace over the that side. Oh, okay, okay. So once they replaced, yeah, they will put back again to this test report. Got it. Got to it. make sure there is no the problem tags. again. Got it. Got it. And this step is lamination. Okay. They use the the hot temperature to press the the five tiers together. Yes. And laminate them into one unit. Yes, it's five Nine. layers. Like the first one is back sheet. Back sheet. And then EVA. EVA. And the solar cell. Cell and EVA. EVA. Second EVA. EVA. Yeah. And then glass. Got it. Got it. The lamination machine is we have total four sets. Got it. So what's the total capacity for the lamination machine? Uh, it's around the, in one hour, one machine, yes. we can get um, 30 pieces. 40 pieces. 30. Uh, 30 pieces. Got it. So four machines, we get 120 pieces. pieces. So 120 in one hour. Got it. So it's similar speed compared with the welding machine. Yeah, so this is a 120 and the previous one is 150. Yes. Got it. So that one is faster. Make sure faster. you have uh, you have enough WIP yes. before. So sometimes there before is solar panels waiting yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Because you need to make sure you have the WIP um, enough WIP uh, before your input to the uh, half assembly uh, parts into the station. Right? Yes. Got it. So. The temperature here uh, really hot. Yes. Inside it is a 135. Yeah. This is the first step. It has two steps. Yeah. One step will take 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So two steps take 20 minutes. Okay. 135. Okay. Next step is 140, 140. degrees. Okay. So it's extremely hot. Yeah, here. exactly. <laughs> That's why no workers here. <laughs> yeah. Because there is extra material. Like this one. The actual like glue. the EVA melting. EVA. Thing. And yeah. the back sheet is is a little bit bigger than solar panel. Oh I see, yeah. Exactly. So we need to cut cut the edges. Yeah. This is the edge cutting machine. Edge cutting. It's very quick and fast. Why you need this one? This protects the uh, dust. Yes. One, one hand on one hand is prevent dust. Yeah. And on the other hand, the knife is very sharp. Oh, yeah. I see. Protect the, both the solar panel and the human. <laughs> yes. Got it. And this one is first a visual check. For a visual check. The solar panel will be flapped until we let our workers check the appearance. Check all the solar cells are in good conditions. 
call it. Like this, we're standing here and wait. Yeah, I think um, there are a lot of automation machines uh, in your production line process. Yes, yeah. So have you ever think about to use a CCD or a sensor to do the visual check for the solar panel instead of human naked eyes? Yes, our technical department are keep researching this step yeah. to replace by robot or yeah, machine. Yeah. Because the labor cost is think, increasing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we want to use the machines as much as possible. Yeah. But this step till now there is no a good machine on the market. Got it. So we're still using our workers to stand here to check the conditions. Got it. So um, have you estimated how much how much of the labor costs increased during the last three, uh, two or three years? Uh, I think it's around the 30% increase. 30% increase. Yeah, I'm not an HR, but I've heard a lot about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. So, hope the, the machine yeah. can be launched as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think all the machines are pretty busy, uh, even in the known time right now. Um, yes. So, because your capacity, um, I, I'm not sure if the capacity is enough for all of your orders, or do you have any idle capacity maybe during the low, um, low season? Actually, we are busy almost every day, wow. every season, wow. from summer to winter. Very good business. Yes. Sometimes our customer wants to play our order, place an order, mm -hmm. and you may need to wait for a long time if we wait the production schedule. So we will check if the customer is urgent for this order. Yeah. If it's urgent, yeah. we will check the production schedule with the factory first. Got it. And then to tell them the delivery time, if yeah. they can accept, yeah. we, will receive, we will receive this order. Got it. So if a customer, um, for example, has some urgent demand or um, like a fluctuating demand, some, sometimes in the peak season, uh, for example, in winter, they order a lot of solar panel, uh, or maybe in summer, they order the cheaper solar panel. But they have the different, um, like flash heating demand in different seasons. Uh, how do you handle that situation? Uh, actually, normally we have around 20 megawatts in our warehouse. Okay, a warehouse. Yes, it's a, it's a big warehouse oh, yeah. to place around uh, one month production capacity inside is no problem. Okay, yeah. so your your warehouse capacity uh, is around one month uh, um, supply. Yes, got it, got it. So if it's ready for ship for urgent orders, urgent order. Yeah. Okay, got it. And, and this step is automatic framing. Got it. This step was traditionally made by hand. We use our hand to install the frame. And now it's all replaced by the machine. So the machine is uh, exported from some country or it's domestic made? Uh, it, you mean it's from China or overseas? Yeah, huh? it's from China made or, or other countries made it. Actually, for those machines, for, for producing solar panel, all comes from China local. Oh, I see. So I many see. importers, many overseas buyers are, yeah. are sending inquiries to us if you have solar equipment. Yeah, oh, oh really? For <laughs> sol China is still the biggest manufacturer, right? Got it. That's better yeah. for, for the cost of control. Yes. And this machine, uh, those machines, upgraded in last year, so it's brand new. Yeah, it seems very new. Yeah. Yeah. And this step is installed the junction box. Got it. Why we call it junction box? Because it has output of cable. So when we mm, transfer the DC to AC, we need inverter, right? Yeah. How we connect the inverter? Yeah. We need this. Okay. It's called connection. Got it. This one should be the last assembly station, right? Yes, uh, the converter box. Yes, install the junction box. Got the up step, the rest are mostly plastic. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I think we should show the customer how how do you make sure um, your product is in good quality. Yes. Um, for example, do you have like one hundred percent OQC, a one hundred percent inspection? Um, on the functions. Yes, because the test report speaks. Okay. Yes. 
we, we are saying it's good, it's the uh, best quality, so we, we need to prove it, right? Yeah, sure. And this is the current room, curing. How long has the curing taste? Mm, it's around uh, four to six hours. Ah, okay. The temperature okay. here needs to be kept at 25 degrees. Ah, okay. it, can be, it can be two degrees difference. I oh, see. Must be within two degrees. So two, two, uh, two degree calories. Only with the uh, with the temperature standard, we can get the standard test result. If the temperature is too high or too low, we always influence the test result. Got it. Got it. So next step, let's let's show you the testing. Yeah. Like the EL test, second EL, and the IV test, mm -hmm. which is called power test. Power test. Power test is to make sure it has the correct voltage. Yes. This is the tester inspection area for oh, those areas. Okay. Now let me show you the testing. From the screen, you can see the voltage, the temperature, if it's within 25 degrees. Okay. And the, the related information of solar panel. Mm -hmm. The most important is the power. For example, we are producing 405 watts now. Yeah. The exact power is 406. Okay. Because our solar panel is not all 0 to 5 positive power tolerance. Oh, we tell you it should it's be above yes. 405. Yes, we, ho we tell you it's 400. The actual power is 402, 403, or Free power for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, free power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And this is the test of DC voltage resistance mm -hmm. because the solar is, has, is electric, it's dangerous, it cannot pass this test. Yes. The next step is the solar power's isolation test and isolation also the grounding test. Got it. So all the tests are 100%, it's 100% uh, OQC actually. Yes, 100%. Yeah, and you have the testing report stored in a computer. Yes, got it. And also if our customer place the order and want to check the quality by their own eyes, yeah. they can stay here in our factory and check the whole production process. Got it. Or if they come in after the production is finished, mm -hmm. you can also take the solar panel back to the production line and do yeah. the test yeah. to prove to our customers. Full transparency to your customers. Yes, got it. We are, all, we are providing the service as the best you can. <laughs> as much as we, as we sure. can. Sure. And this is the second EL test. Got it. Mm. The first EL is before lamination and now it's after lamination. Mm. So if there is problem now, at this step, yeah. we have no way to compensate. Got so it. we need to de degrade or, or recycle it. We will not sell to customer if there is any quality problem. Got it. You need to rework again. Yes. Got it. I think the first EL, um, the meaning of the first EL is actually to, uh, in case uh, you, have the, you have the failure or defects on to the last station yeah. um, to protect your yield, the uh, overall process yield. Yes. Got it. And this step, they'll do the cleaning. Mm -hmm. Cleaning the dust or any glues, EVA. They use alcohol to clean? Yes. Got it, got it. Cosmetic check. Yeah. And also after it's clean, they will turn back to the front side oh, I see. To, check, to do the visual check again. Got it. Got it. So now the production process here is come to an end. Now the solar panels only wait to load it. Loading and to, the pack. To do the package and then load it. Got it. Got it. 
And here I would like to show you our sticker. This is the Mono 72 cells. Okay. The 400 watts. 400 watts. Yeah. Oh, it's M, so it's Mono. Yes. Right, right. It's our own brand. Ah, oh, then 72 and pieces. Yes. Yes, so I think the last section is um, we shall see your warehouse and see how you deliver your products before, how you pack your products before you deliver it. Yes. Sure. That room is our warehouse. Wow. I think your warehouse the size is much larger than the production space. Yes. It's even bigger than production. Yeah, yeah. So how much pallet? Um, I think how how many pallets you can store in this warehouse? Uh, it's around the twenty megawatts, twenty to thirty megawatts. Twenty it to depends. thirty megawatts. It depends. If it's a very busy order season, we may not have no chance to produce that much. Got Maybe it. only twenty twenty megawatts. Got it. So how many uh, panel you can place on on one pallet? Uh, in one pallet, normally it's uh, 31 pieces. 31 pieces. If, if it's 78 cells, like uh, we just presented in, in the front desk, yeah. uh, one pallet will be only loading 27 pieces. Got it. So it's around it 20. It depends on the size. Yeah, it depends on the size. And there, there is packing list of each, solar, of each pallet. Yeah, and it has a 2D barcode yes. of each solar panel. It's, it has the pallet number, the module name, the quantity, and the serial number of each cell. Yeah, I think this, this pallet is a 31 panel, right? Yes, it's 31, 31 pieces. 2D barcode. Got it. And this is a, a 72, yeah, half cell mono 72 X9, yes. 400 watts. Now okay. you're familiar with yeah, our module. Yeah, I can, I can be again next time. <laughs> So this, this pallet is 31 pieces. Usually we stack two pallets together. Got it. Got to make it. full use of the container space. Got it. Um, yeah, I think it's a very uh, exciting trip for me to know uh, the process of solar panel and to know more about your company. Yes. Yeah, and thanks um, uh, guys for watching us um, on this video. Um, and if you have any questions, please contact Karen. Yeah. Uh, Welcome Karen. to yeah. contact us if you yeah. have any questions about us. Thank you so much for your watching. Thank you.